so-called Golden Triangle of Myanmar, Laos and Thailand was once one of the world's largest producers of opium. Recent drought hurt production, but now authorities are seeing a resurgence in poppy cultivation, especially in Myanmar. And the other two members of the triangle, Thailand and Laos, are becoming increasingly concerned about the increase in production and its knock-on effects. Hannah Belcher reports. 17-year-old Plutsavan has been in drug rehab for just over a month. She, like an increasing number of teenagers in Laos, got hooked on heroin. I wanted to learn a new experience and I got into drugs with my friends. The drugs make me sick and I went mad. Laos, one of the least developed countries in Southeast Asia, is undergoing a rapid economic and social transformation. Ten years ago, methamphetamines didn't exist here in Laos. Now, more than 40,000 people are taking hard drugs, especially heroin. It's a major concern for the government, so much so that it's launched a nationwide anti-drugs campaign. Laos doesn't have enough money to fight heroin addiction. This rehab centre, one of five in the country, is run on just $4,000 a year. The recovery of addicts is heavily dependent on the goodwill and dedication of the medical and counselling staff, most volunteers. We run many important programs to help the drug addicts recover like medical treatment, counselling and vocational training, and they are proving to stop drug usage. The government has recently sent out another plea to international donors to help fund rehab centres. But an even more worrying problem is the resurgence of opium production across the border in Myanmar. Heroin is derived from opium. Laos has almost stamped out poppy cultivation within its own borders. Policing the trade in the remote mountains isn't an easy task. Laos is still being used as a transit route for drugs coming out of Burma and probably targeting going through Laos to Vietnam. And uh, the, the, we are seeing now an emergence of heroin addiction among even the ethnic minorities. With drugs still finding their way in from Myanmar, the situation is fragile. Laos still needs to build up its law enforcement capacity, its border management controls, and, its, and also the investigative capacities of its, of its custom. The United Nations says 50% of former poppy growers are now at risk of returning to the trade. As a poor country on the brink of economic change, Laos simply can't afford to be tarnished with drugs. Hannah Belcher, Al Jazeera, Ventien, Laos.